always adding a fun new twist to your balanced, complete breakfast, Kellogg's unleashes its new line of Jolly Rancher flavored Pop Tarts. Our subject today, green apple flavored. Pucker up for a surprisingly sweetly sour flavor. Whether toasted or right out the box, unleash the crazy goodness buried within. My astute viewers out there, which one are you? Are you astute? I bet you're astute. All my viewers are astute. What am I kidding? Why am I even going to bother even differentiating between the astute and non-astute viewers? Because you are definitely astute. Because anytime I do something wrong in these videos, you let me know. Right off the bat, you just have the comment section down below. You, you know, sometimes very heartlessly let me know and just give me the verbal flogging. Or I don't know what it would be if you're typing it, what the, the correct verbiage would be there. But you're all astute, so you might notice it's a little bit darker in here. You know, there's some shadows and, you know, the wall in the back of me is, is casting a shadow and it's not as white as it usually is. And the reason for that is because I'm doing this in the evening. I normally don't do yuck or yum in the evening, but when do I eat this? Uh, obviously it's not in the morning anymore. These are Jolly Rancher flavored Pop-Tarts. What are you doing? What is the meaning of this? I feel like the people at Kellogg saw my last Pop-Tarts review, the one that had the, the soda flavors, and just said, oh, you don't like that? Well, here, take this. Talk about an identity crisis. Pop-Tarts, they are so far from what they used to be. They are just, nobody knows what a Pop-Tart is. Is it cereal? Is it breakfast food? Is it, some, is it some kind of dessert? Is it candy? You can qualify it as candy now because now it's Jolly Rancher flavored. This isn't even the only flavor. There's two other flavors involved. But, um, there's a watermelon and I think there's a mixed berry flavor. But thankfully, the good old Divinity Crate gave me the most putrid of the three flavors, the green apple, which if it's anything like the Jolly Rancher, it's sour. A sour Pop-Tart. Who would want to eat something sour first thing in the morning? What's next? I want to know what's next. Where haven't they gone that they can go? What is taboo to eat or drink in the morning, huh? They say you're a complete pathetic alcoholic if you drink beer in the morning. You're not supposed to have cheeseburgers at like a fast food restaurant. That's why they have a breakfast menu. So maybe they can make like a beer and burger flavored Pop-Tart next. I dare you, Kellogg's, to make a beer burger flavored Pop-Tart. Not just one or the other, make them, put them both together. Don't torture us slowly, just do it quick. Anyway, you know the way these things go. I'm gonna eat it once without toasting it. I'll let you know what I think there. Then I'll toast it, I'll let you know what I think about that. Sometimes there's such a big difference between the two, they actually get different star ratings. Wow, look at this. Could this look any unhealthier? You know what this reminds me of? A long time ago when the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were popular, they had like these fruit pies. It was like the worst thing the Ninja Turtle name was ever put on. It was like, they looked like the pods from Close Encounters of the Third Kind. It's just like this big, dripping, gooey, green blob. And you took a bite out of it and there was supposedly fruit filling inside. <laughs> it was fruit filling, yeah right, it was freaking green. What kind of, what kind of a fruit is neon green when you, when you open it up and turn it into paste? Good golly, Miss Molly, let's smell this. You smell it, it's, oh, oh yeah, it's definitely sour. I can smell that sour. I mean, that's just the frosting on top. What, the, what who the heck knows what's going on inside? All right, I'll take a bite of this. This is definitely not morning food. I don't know. As a treat, this is not bad. This is something that you can enjoy in the middle of the day. Not in the morning! I could not picture heating this up or eating it as is or, you know, put it in the freezer, whatever. I could not picture eating this for breakfast. It is way too sugary. And you're looking at a guy who sometimes goes to Dunkin' Donuts for breakfast and gives like a, a frosted strawberry donut, okay, with a cup of coffee. That's an understandable breakfast. This is more sugary than that even. A frosted donut. This is, this tastes like twice as sugary as a frosted donut. And it's sour. It's not like Atomic Warhead sour or nothing. 
It's just way too sour for something that would be considered a breakfast food. I know I say this ad nauseum. I'm going to say it again. I don't get it! And you know what? People might think that I've been dogging on Jolly Ranchers, that I don't like the taste of Jolly Ranchers. I love the taste of Jolly Ranchers. I love the taste of green apple Jolly Ranchers. When they're Jolly Ranchers! Every time I've ragged on Jolly Ranchers, like the taste of it, is because they're trying to infuse that taste and put it into something else! Jolly Rancher taste belongs in a Jolly Rancher, and that's it! You don't put it anywhere else! Like I said, that sriracha candy, that cotton candy that I had a long time ago, that kind of had a, a, a Jolly Rancher taste to it. It didn't belong there. Cotton candy is supposed to have a lighter taste. When I say a food item tastes like Jolly Ranchers, that's my way of saying it tastes too strong. Jolly Ranchers have a very strong taste. That strong taste does not belong in a Pop-Tart. Maybe, maybe, it's going to be a miracle, but maybe the toaster can fix that. It's just too freaking strong. Got crumbs all over this table. It's a freaking mess. What am I going to do with myself? I'm going to go over there and toast this sucker, and maybe it'll improve it. We'll see. What in the... Yes, I, I suppose it is. Who are you? This whole house is permeating with the aroma of warm apple Pop-Tarts. But does it taste like a warm apple pie? No! It tastes like your typical run-of-the-mill green sour apple Jolly Ranchers, which I guess is apropos, but it just doesn't make sense. I mean, why would you even toast this? Who wants to eat warm Jolly Ranchers? I don't understand what it is about mock apple flavor. Are there sour, actual sour apples out there? Why is this a thing? Why are they so green? I, I don't know. I, I always associate, I mean, I know there's Granny Smith apples, but I always associate apples with the color red. I don't understand what a sour apple's all about. Beats me. I feel like they were trying to, like, replicate the taste of apple, like, when they were first trying to come up with that apple candy, and they misfired. And they, so, sour apple was born. Beats me. Okay, as a treat, as I said before, I'll say it again. As a treat, as a candy, it's aces. As breakfast food, f it. Get it off my table. I don't understand what the meaning of it is. I would understand the other Jolly Rancher flavors are probably about the same thing, the same spiels going on there. I hope not to see them on this this program because they're just gonna have the same frustration and the same damn overall review. I don't want I don't want you people to be watching reruns out there. But yeah, it tastes like a warm, melty Jolly Rancher. I really hope you can't see me sweating. It's still very, very hot in here. Still haven't gotten the central air fixed. Um, picture what it would be like if you left a Jolly Rancher out in the sun for like a couple of days and then went back to it brushed all the flies off of it and all the bugs and ants and then just gave it a nice lick and there you go that's what this tastes like it has an identity it has an identity crisis sure I, I continue to slam it for that pop tarts don't know what they are anymore but I can't dog on it because it it really does taste good for what it is um well actually I can't say for what it is because what it is supposed to be at least I've always been taught is breakfast food and it's not it's not breakfast food what are you doing are you like some kind of weird, like the Transformers used to hide in plain sight? What are you hiding from? I don't understand why you would 
go to Jolly Ranchers over all the flavors. There are tons of other things you eat for breakfast. Why not go there instead of here? Have they had French toast flavored Pop-Tarts yet? I haven't seen them. Why not make that? How about pancake flavored Pop-Tarts? They don't exist. I know for a fact they don't exist. Make that instead. They made those maple ba bacon flavored ones. That's a better idea than this. Why not mass produce those and sell those in the supermarket? You know what? I had a radical thought. And you know what? You people at Kellogg's, you're working, you're watching this video. You can have this idea for free. You're collaborating with the people at Jolly Rancher. You're doing it all wrong. Collaborate with other cereal companies. Like, I don't know what Kellogg's makes. I know they make Frosted Flakes. Yeah, Frosted Flakes! Why not make a Frosted Flake flavored Pop-Tart? That would be delicious! Could you imagine, like, Cocoa Puffs or Fruit Loops or Trix flavored? I mean, I don't know if they're all, I think those might be General Mills cereals, but anything that Kellogg's makes, you have free reign to go there and make that a flavor. Why Jolly Ranchers? So I am forced to grade this as a treat and not as a breakfast food. As a treat! This gets a score of three and a half hops because I can't hate on it for not being breakfast food, but it's not breakfast food. This, it's, if that soda flavor jumped off of bridge, this basically jumped off that same bridge with a freaking concrete slab tied to its ankle. There's no way it's coming up for air ever again. This is so off the wall, not breakfast food. And if you're looking for something delicious to have in the morning, I can't see drinking like a nice cup of milk and a cup of juice and a little thing of toast with this first thing in the morning. It's just way too big of a sugar rush. So this is your good buddy Hottie Scotty Pancake 603 saying once again until we answer the question, is it yuck, is it yum, or is it yuck or yum? Once again, I'm faced with something I have no idea what I would even consider it to be. Mind officially blown. You are gravy almighty. There are video game tape out there you've had your eye on? Like that new movie Johnny Mnemonic? Or that movie with a cussing teddy bear called Ted Fowler? How about movies on Laserdisc? Betamax! What's the only video store where prominently displayed right above the little entryway there, a Pearl River Neon beer clock hand spin around that son of a bitch like a rotisserie chicken? Palmer Video Stores, you jackass! What'd you think I'd say? Pack up the Ford Bronco, make sure you got all the mud out of the rotors and the rats and the flies are nowhere near the engine, and run a flick or two to bring up to the portable VCR down at the old deer stand. Yep, that's a VCR on the BSR. <laughs> I miss my calling. Now why did I bust skulls for a living? I'm a funny son of a bitch.